Hey guys, this is Vyom Joshi with Superior North. Welcome back to my channel. Warren Buffett says that whether it's stocks or socks, he likes to buy quality merchandise when it's marked down. During the recent price decline in the stock market, there are three securities that I have been adding into my portfolio. The first one that I recently added to my portfolio is Alphabet, ticker symbol is G-O-O-G. Li Lu, another famous value investor, has also added the security to his portfolio. In the past, I have made a video on Google where I fundamentally analyzed the company. The biggest reason for me to add Alphabet to the Superior North's portfolio is because the company is a compounding machine. The company has generated a net margin of greater than 20% over the past 10 years, which clearly tells us that the company has a moat. Additionally, the company's return on equity over the past 10 years has been greater than 13% every year. The second stock that I've been buying is Postco Holdings, ticker symbol is PKX which is a South Korean steel manufacturing company. Steel manufacturing is inherently cyclical as the earnings are going to be dependent on the underlying economy of different countries. 45% of POSCO's earnings are generated domestically. So if the South Korean market or economy deteriorates, then POSCO's earnings are likely going to suffer. Additionally, POSCO is an ADR, which means there are currency risks tied to this investment. In other words, if the dollar strengthens, it will bring down POSCO Holdings' stock price. However, despite these risks, I have been buying POSCO because the company has good fundamentals and it is always trying to find new ways and different avenues to increase its earnings. The third stock that I've added to Superior North's portfolio is Citigroup. Citigroup is also one of the holdings that Berkshire Hathaway recently added to its securities portfolio. At the current stock price, Citigroup is trading considerably below its book value. To be precise, the book value per share of Citigroup is about 0.45. In other words, you're buying a dollar's worth of Citigroup at about 45 cents. Again, it's important to remember that when it comes to banks, you need to have a great margin of safety because book value per share can trend downwards during an economic downturn because those assets that the company claims may have impairments, which would bring down the book value. Hence, it's important that when we buy securities that are in the banking sector, the book value per share is such that even if the book value per share were to deteriorate from $1 to 90 cents, it is going to give us a greater margin of safety if we were to buy it at, let's say, 45 cents on the dollar rather than buying it at 1.2 times or at a premium to the book value per share. Citigroup's five-year average book value per share is about 0.78. And since the company's current book value per share is about $0.45 per share, it gives me some peace in knowing that I have a margin of safety built into the security when I'm buying Citigroup at the current stock price. When it comes to risk, it's important to note that Citigroup has wide exposure to countries and consumer credit markets all across the globe. However, despite this risk, I find Citigroup to be a good investment for Superior North portfolio. Hey guys, that is all I had for you this week. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you like this content, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on which stock I should review next, please leave them in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.